following contest is the Royal Rumble match. The two superstars that drew number one and number two will start in the ring at the same time. Other superstars will join in the order that they drew. This will continue until all 30 superstars have entered the ring. Eliminations occur when a superstar is thrown over the top rope with both feet landing on the floor. The last superstar in the ring will be declared the Royal Rumble winner and go on to face the champion of their choice at WrestleMania! I'm Fretman. I'm Fretman. I'm Fretman. I'm Fretman. I don't want crazy. Worse of it. I'm giving birth to a holy child. You've got to help me get rid of this before I find myself in a book. Huh? Some goddamn holy book. Oh! Have you been listening to what I said? Fool! You dare attack an Imperial Lord? No, 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 you wouldn't hurt a fragment. Now the wheels of fate are turning as Batman finally confronts his old nemesis. But he's pregnant, so he has to be careful that the da damage the embryo. Batman really splurged with this outfit. I, I like all the gold and the uh, ridiculous shoulder pads and such. Oh crap, here comes Superman. Superman wearing the iconic black suit, which doesn't make him look edgy at all. Oh, holy shit, the German suit collection from Joker. Things are definitely heating up now. So also why I'm re-recording re this is because I had a royal, I made a royal movie before. Should have recorded then, but I forgot to. I kind of just wanted to watch some mayhem, and now I'm gonna try and in earnest. So here comes Hal Jordan, proving he's one of the worst Greenlanders, as he basically killed everyone. 
He's he's more edgy than Superman, but Superman is more noticeable by far. Parallax or Hal Jordan put Batman on the ropes. Oh, what a reversal! Here comes Strong Guy. This is weird, tough to hair. I did put him in a diaper because, like, I I put layers for hindsight, lad. But I just I Strong Guy was in a was like so far down the line for creative characters that I just I wanted to do something easy or easier than apply a bunch of textures that. That, uh, when you apply like the textures on the side, they kind of fade out, and it's just weird. I don't, I don't like it. Oh crap, Pink Kryptonite, almost the same, like, instance number like last time. Pink Kryptonite was early and didn't defeat Superman, he actually got defeated. Oh holy crap, the Joker and Pink Kryptonite teaming up on Strong Guy. Holy shit. Oh, the reversal. Strong guy's gonna... Oh, German suplex. Alright, you have food, right? Gotcha. Oh, crap. Here comes Impossible, man. Oh, you don't have to. Anyway, thank you. Impossible, man, being the Marvel equivalent of Mr. Mixelflip slash Batmite. But I almost feel he's ten times worse, because... Because... There's, there's already tons of green people in both DC and Marvel, and him being like, you know, the like a fifth dimensional being with like god like or, you know, godlike powers, like that's that's too much. Even for, I kind of give because probably Mister Mystical Flick slash Batman came out first, and the Possible Man came out later. And oh shit, here comes Arm Fall Off Boy. But same thing with Impossible Man. He, he looks absolutely garish. I mean, not as garish as Arm Fall Off Boy. I know I should have probably made our fall off way more like musculature, but like at that point, or uh, our fall off way I think was significantly down the line of like character creation because um, uh, because sometimes I just like a lot of characters like Pink Crimson Knight where it's like I didn't modify too much, I just kind of gave him a costume. So Joker and Strong Guy and like and a couple others, I you know I I tried to make an interesting dumb looking character and holy shit arm fall off boy is going like I want to be taken seriously and not just put in the suicide spot too or suicide spot 3 I guess because there was an animated film so you know I'm kind of bummed that oh shit there goes a joker um, I'm kind of bummed that there can't be more than eight in a time, but I guess... Oh, there goes Impossible Man. It seems like his fish dimensional powers were not able to help him in this match. But I guess the ring is stronger than Impossible Man's powers, so, you know. Superman struggling to beat Pink Crypt Knight. He did just give him a he just, just gave him a slam, but Pink Crypt Knight will come back and make Superman gay. He'll probably retain being more edgy though than being uh, homosexual. That's what the Pink Crypt Knight is. It made him they appeared in a Supergirl issue and made him effeminate, so yeah, I think that's why people don't like like it. But I, I think it's pretty oh Pink Crypt Knight put it in a show. Shit, here comes the hindsight lad. Oh, Pink Crypt Superman defeated Pink Kryptonite. He will mean remain edgy a little bit more. Holy crap! And that's bad. I, I hate when it when it does that when it will fade out because the CPUs are still going, so it, it shouldn't you know it shouldn't uh, turn it out. Oh, friendship in flames! Superman fighting Batman. He made him bleed, although I don't think he could bleed through the mask. Oh crap, here comes Wonder Man. Oh shit, Batman got eliminated. 
Wonder Man, Dane of Elysium, getting destroyed by, oh no, the reversal. Oh, this, is he gonna do a slam? Oh yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't think our ball is always getting out of this one. Oh. Holy crap, Superman got eliminated too. That's, that's surprising. Superman was, was one of the strongest competitors uh, last Royal Rumble. Holy crap, Daniel Lee is a new, um, trying to get one full off way out. Dog welder, a great DC villain. He glued do dead, he welded dead dogs to people's faces. Yes, that's long and short of it. He glued dogs to people's, or welded dogs to people's faces. So yeah, that was, oh crap, here comes Egg Foo. I couldn't make him, like, super disturbing, so like, I, I guess the next evolution of that was the loincloth. Um... But like, it, it, the funny thing is, the more I designed Egg Fu, the less like he was reminiscent of his awful character origin, which Egg Fu was this like Chinese, I imagine communist. Uh, I'm sh I'm surprised they didn't give him teeth, but a Wonder Woman villain. Yeah, there's a lot of Wonder Woman villains that are just, uh, you know, because most of them were made during World War II, so it's just you know Asian guy. So yeah, Ekfu was one of the, they have. There is a modern version of Ekfu. Fortunately, unfortunately, <laughs> I don't know. Um, but he, um, crap. Uh, but I think his name is Cheng Zhu. But even then, that's still like just you know get rid of him. I sorry, I forgot to say Radioactive Man joined about. Oh, crap is oh Radioactive Man is out. Oh my God, he's actually out. I thought. Oh crap! Here comes Spider-Man Seaman. Seem to avenge his fallen comrade. Who's worse, Pink Ripley or Spider-Man Seaman? I'm not entirely sure. Dane of Elysium and putting on a show. Oh, Dog Welder, giving in the biz. Oh crap! The reversal from Egg Fu. But like, I like for Egg Fu, I was so like. As I kept on designing it more, it kept on like looking like a racist nutcracker or a racist like Mr. Peanut. I mean, Mr. Peanut is pretty racist already, you know. So, um, but yeah, I just was like, I wasn't too like honestly sure whether or not to include him because I was like iffy. But oh, and here comes that Almighty Dollar. He's gonna hit him with money powers. I know I should have probably worked on that since this is the second Royal Rumble, but like, um, I didn't get, I forgot to get Almighty Dollar Shoes, but I mean, his name's like Jay Pennington Pennypacker or something like that, so like, oh crap, Strong Guy is out, defeated by the radioactive semen of Spider-Man. Yeah, I'm, I'm super surprised. Radioactive Man was, oh here, crap, here comes the Black Bomber. Radioactive Man was one of the st strongest contestants in the, in the first one. He stayed in there like forever. Like it was, like I feel like, I mean I think there was only one point where there was, you know, eight people, so, or one or two points in the first one that, but holy crap, Black Bomber putting the damage on Radioactive Spider-Man Seaman. Holy crap, he's he's putting on supposing a rest of Oh crap, it's a shockmaster. Oh crap, dog welder uh for, who did he take out? Oh he put out hindsight lad. He'll say that's that's uh I wonder if they wanted to reboot hindsight lad in 2020, because then they could claim that. Man, the arrogance of Dane of Elysium putting or er, putting Spider-Man to shame. Oh, come on, Shockmaster. You can do it! Oh, crap. Dog Welder proving he can do it. 
He might win this whole thing. Oh crap, there goes Almighty Dollar. Marry me, I'm single. I, I didn't change the other ones. Oh crap, here's Big Ping Foom. Oh, is he gonna toss him out? Oh, okay, never mind. The rope to the, um, I can't think of the word, chest. Um, but yeah, I, I was gonna say, oh, Dog Welder might be out. Oh, okay, never mind, he recovered. Um, like, I, they look awful, but I think, um, Wonder Man, Dane, and, and uh, where you at, man, I think I was happy with how they turned out because they look more cleaner. And that's kind of, if you can see right there for, as uh, near Dane's armpit, it's the, the colors fade, which I don't understand why that's an issue in this game. I, I kind of get it with like wrestling games is that they stop, at least the 2K series was stopped being developed by Ukes, which Ukes was a long time uh, wrestling developer. Um, but yeah, um, I'm not too sure what Ukes has uh, worked on recently, but crap, I forgot. I didn't mention the, the NFL Super Pro. Oh, crap, the body slam on Black Bomber. Shit, here comes Adam X Extreme going to trying to avenge his fallen comrade, Strong Guy. I honestly couldn't, like, Adam X Extreme's costume was pretty edgy, but, like, I couldn't exactly get, like, Oh crap, the Black Bomber eliminated. The funniest thing, Black Bomber was like the strongest. He lasted till the he was like entrance 10, and he lasted till the end until he was destroyed by Fing Fang Fu, I think. Oh, and since and since Fing Fang Foom got eliminated, Fing Fang Foom was the he won the last one. Oh crap. Shockmaster. Shockmaster might get eliminated. Oh, here, crap, here comes the real villain, Mr. McMahon. Crap, I keep, I, I should have, oh, crap, Shockmaster coming back. But I, I made a shirt for events so that says, you know, uh, I can't afford life insurance or something like that. And then um, I put on this bag, I expose my grapefruits because Vince McMahon is, is a general creep. The Shockmaster coming back, NFL Super Pro on the, oh, okay, never mind, he's, he's recovering. I'm just gonna check something real quick. Just gonna make sure I'm still recording. And yes, that's correct. Okay, perfect. Um, let's see who's next. Oh crap, it's a big shot. Big shot from the Tick series. He's based on the Punisher. And the funny thing is, this big shot has more um, appeal than the Punisher because he actually has character development instead of, you know, getting turned on by killing people. Ooh, Dane, not, not taking any of Big, oh, never mind, he took Big Shot's punch. Come on, Shockmaster, you can do it. Claim what is rightfully yours. NFL Super Pro, mad that he was just a one-time deal and forgotten, has destroyed Spider-Man in the process. Ooh, NFL Super Pro being a touch too much ego. He, he might get eliminated soon, I'm not too sure. Ooh, the back breaker. He just did that, he just did the Bane to Big Shot. I'm also surprised, like, yeah, Wonder Man, Dane of Elysium, he... Oh no, the Shockmaster, he's gone! No! A competitor has been eliminated. Ooh, NFL Super Pro really giving it to Vince McMahon. Oh crap, he... oh wait, no, I think that's a movie already... Oh, never mind, he just tossed him out! He tossed him overboard like a sack of potatoes! I'm, I'll be surprised if Wonder Man or not Wonder, Wonder Man actually wins this. What? 
I think, uh, you know, not for a super hot take. I honestly, I don't like Wonder Woman a lot because it, it kind of stems from the same like Superman thing where in Thor, where it's like, you know, an immortal guy or a girl. But I think it's like DC doesn't even care that much about Wonder Woman because she kills so many people, and people freak their shit out when Superman killed Zod. And so like, like all the time, like people don't care about. Wonder Woman killing people, so I, that's why I kind of, as a joke, I put Wonder Man Dane of the in there. I also created, again, Wonder Man the Marvel guy, because again, just to add fuel to the fire for, I guess, my Wonder Woman. Oh, crap, he got eliminated, damn. I'm gonna look like a bitch now. <laughs> Putting all my uh, Elysium bucks in the Dane. Hemoglobin, famous as a South African racist vampire who gave his victim AIDS. Yes, that's a real character, that's a real villain who was in a panel and then died the same issue. Same thing with the Black Bomber. Black Bomber wasn't realized beyond, but they have panels of his art, so they must have got to a point where they're going to consider publishing him. So, so sorry. I didn't explain on the Black Bomber. Black Bomber was a a white uh, supremacist who, who, when whenever he got angry, he would turn black by shouting "Black Power." And yeah, that's that's a true thing. DC that was gonna be DC's first uh, African American or er, superhero, and or uh, sorry, rather black superhero. And then uh, I think. Uh, Jefferson Pierce, Black Lightning, or uh, I think came first, and then Green Lantern, or no, Green Lantern, John Stewart came first, then Jefferson Pierce, uh, Black Lightning. Um, Psycho Pirate, I just put in there because he's such a bad supervillain, I don't know why, because he's, he, they, he was like a big reveal in like the CW shows, but he was just like, absolutely like, they didn't do anything with him, and I don't, I don't like Psycho Pirate, but like, his design is so stupid of red on red and then gold, so he's like a knockoff Iron Man. Oh crap, Sumo the Samurai is might be destroyed by Vince McMahon. Sumo the Samurai is also another like Golden Age Wonder Woman comic where it's just another uh, basically as Cotton Hill says, uh, I got my shins blown off by Japan Man's machine gun. Um, so that's, um, uh, so that's kind of what, what Sumo the Samurai is. Why, why I bring up Sumo the Samurai, I didn't really know about him. And then I saw him in Scribble Knots, like, uh, Scribble Knots Unlimited or whatever. And I was just like, so it's fine that Scribble Knots is having, like, racist undertones, but then they won't have, like, dead characters that, that, you know, they haven't utilized for a while. Like, that's stupid. They should allow the dead characters, or at least the characters that haven't been in an issue for a while and reinvent them. And so they like Chang Su, who, like, or Slash Egg Fu, who was already a bad idea to begin with. Um, so yeah, I put Sauron in there. I thought it was funny. I mean, um, I think the last Royal Rumble, he actually defeated Spider-Man, which is funny because, like, that's a panel where that's why I put the shirt on. I could have cured cancer, but didn't because he just wants to make dinosaurs. Which is one of the, like the stupidest like exchanges of dialogue ever in a Marvel, and I keep on forgetting. Um, so yeah, I put Shockmaster, and I tried making Goldust, and um, then there's Vince McMahon, which unfortunately Vince you have to buy with like the in-game currency, which is I guess I had just had a, li had a little bit from buying it, but it's still like stupid that like a guy or even though Vin or Vince much like you know well never you know, I mean. Vince is awful. Oh my god, he's gonna try and have him kiss his ass. Here, crap, here comes a creeper. Um, uh, I mean, Vince isn't as crazy as Benoit was, or, you know, like, or, you know, um, having something or like an accident kill him, like, or, you know, uh, overdose or alcohol consumption like Eddie Guerrero. But Vince is still bad because he's still probably doing bad this day. He's just probably playing hush money like you know, a lot of other um, uh, recent people.
So yeah, I think there's two left, right? I didn't see. I think we were on 28. The creeper. Oh crap! Creeper just got eliminated. Um, I only know about the creeper from. Oh, man, put it on a show, I guess. Um, the creeper is like another DC guy that's like the alter ego of some radio host in like Gotham called like Jack Ryder. And yeah. Um, but like, um, kind of the same thing with Sauron is that you can't make super ridiculous people like in some of the older wrestling games like again like everything is kind of you know like like uh something that two best friends said where it's more about the simulation than like the more arcade filled gameplay and dog wielder just like, when it becomes like that then unfortunately that's kind of when and where it you know it ends so where it's more about again simulating the sport than actual like a game being enjoyable so, uh, NFL and Dog Builder, um, being, oh, crap, S Sauron got eliminated too. I guess his dinosaur dreams were too high. He flew, flew too close to the sun. Hemogoblin, I'm surprised he, he might win this. Vince eliminated a lot of people. I'm surprised the tick took so long. He was relatively early in the last one, so... But I just was kind of sad because like Fin Fing Foom winning it was kind of funny. Now it's kind of sad that it's down to <laughs> two, two clowns and the tick. <laughs> the tick just doesn't know what to do. Like he's just like, I mean he's kind of... He is his character right now. He's just, you know, yucking it up. Being, being, spoon! Oh, fatal three-way. Mr. McMahon is, or Vince is so spent. His grapefruits are exhausted. Oh my god, the tick just yucking it up. He's gonna say spoon! Next. Like Vince, such an asshole right now. The, the funniest thing is, yeah, I think, yeah, I, I mean, I said again, but like, yeah, Black Bomber. I, mean, I think I'll show highlights from that other match because there was some stuff that, like, I just I couldn't believe that was happening, and I should have recorded the first time, but I just, I just kind of wanted to watch the carnage and just, you know. Oh crap! High flying. I didn't do too much with the move, or I, I think I just like, I figured hopefully it was enough to, oh my god, Hemogoblin is, he can't figure it out, same thing with Vince, Vince has had dementia right now, the Alzheimer's finally got to him, Hemogoblin, his blood, his, his, his blood pressure is too low, he's gonna die, he's gotta, give the vampire treatment to Vince McMahon. Holy crap! Hemogoblin got eliminated. Oh god, is this how it's gonna end? Vince McMahon is gonna win the whole thing? Crap, a stunner. Stone cold, I might add. I'm kidding. Crap. Come on, the take. You gotta win this. You can't let Vince McMahon win. Oh, sh crap. Vince is just... Oh, the elbow pain. Oh, the choke. What is he doing? He's trying to actually, like, commit an actual crime. Come on, the tick. You gotta do this. You can't let Vince win. Oh, no. Oh, crap. No, this can't, this can't end this way. No, tick. You gotta win. No. Tick, come on. Snap out of it. You gotta win this. Holy crap! The reversal! Holy crap! Oh! The- What? I don't know what Vince was doing. He reversed that into a pin. T the tick was gonna powerbomb him, but n no dice. The crowd booing as Vince is, is still remembered for his villainy. He's uh, being, oh crap, I think it's over. I think he's gonna, oh my god, Vince McMahon actually won. This is, this is the worst, <laughs> this is the worst history ever. 
and true true to his name, he gets booed. That's I'm like I'm sad that Vince won, but this couldn't have in it like any other or per or perfectly. I think also the funny thing is, I think Black Bomber last time defeated Vince McMahon, so Vince's dreams of being a, um, just, uh, you know, Royal Woman dreams were, were squashed. <laughs> 